What is up in guys, what you're doing well, welcome back to the channel. So we're currently on our second video in the day, which I'm like, well done me. But we're gonna be doing some problem solving, which we're currently in the process of now. So as you can see, this is the ST150 engine. I've just put the pulleys and everything back on just so you guys can get a general idea of what it's all gonna look like. Um, but obviously alternator, I've not got the bolts for that anymore, so it's kind of just wedged in there. And I'm also missing the AC condenser, which obviously we're gonna be deleting in this video anyway. So basically I don't really what we don't really, don't really know what we're gonna be calling this, so it's kind of like an AC delete and also a, an alternator relocation. Because as you can see with the alternator here, um, you can see if I was trying to do any turbo plumbing there, um, I'd have to go really close to this. Um, I have seen people do, and I know that it is possible, but if you've got the plastic shroud on for the alternator, which it comes with, it's going to be extremely, extremely tight. So it's just easier just to remove this all the way to the other side of the engine, especially as we're going to be removing AC. So in my car now, I don't know if you've seen it, but I have done an AC delete on the 1.6 engine, but I thought I haven't got all the plumbing in the car, so it's going to be no use to me anyway. So I might as well get rid of it while we're here. All right, then, so here we would have the AC compressor, which would have like another pulley there. The bow would loop around here. This is just for demonstration purposes. But um, yeah, so obviously it would all come all the way around there, all the way through here, around down there, around the AC, back over, back under. Um, yeah, so we're not going to need it, so it's time to actually get rid of it. I think we might be deleting this as well. Don't think we're going to be needing that, but um, yeah, we're just going to go with the flow. I've not done it yet. I've got everything like planned out of how I know it's going to go, and I've got the measurements of the belt. So hopefully, if my measurements are correct, then this should all be coming together properly. I'm saying my measurements. I've not measured anything. The guy who's been giving most information, Mr. Jonathan, you know who you are, bro. So just putting this at the end of the video, I was just gave a shout out to somebody called John. I don't know a John. I meant Phil. My apologies, mate. You know who you are. You're an absolute legend, mate. But yeah, back to the video. He's been feeding me loads of information. So we've got the belt ready, which you've already seen. And we've also got another thing that we're going to be needing inside this box. Let's get this opened up. And there we go. Here is our alternator. So let's drop this down. So you might be wondering what this alternator is off and how it's going to be fitting onto the car. So this alternator is off a 2009, I'm pretty sure, 1.8 Ford Fiesta, no, Ford Focus petrol. Um, I will leave a link in the description to the eBay page that I brought it off. You probably see these going for about 60 quid, but I managed to hustle down to 35 pound. Um, but yeah, as you can see, very clean. I was thinking when I get my power steering or the alternator come, I'm gonna have to like paint it up and make it look lovely like the rest of the engine, because as you can see, this one's pretty grim. So don't have to do anything, that's how spot on that is. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take off everything that I'm not gonna need. I'm gonna take this off, and I think, uh, yeah, I think that's it really. Um, that can stay on for now. Um, obviously that doesn't need to move. I am, like I said, this might need to come off. I don't know if we're gonna need the dampening anymore to go around that bout. But yeah, let's talk in. I'm gonna get you guys up with a beautiful view and then just slap this full focus all now on the ST and let's see how we go. Okay, so let's move the engine over a little bit so you can see a little bit. And there we go. So this is where the old AC compressor was gonna be going. And then this is where our new alternator is gonna be going. Um, this is probably not like, the quickest video ever. But like, the only reason I'm doing this is because that was information that I've always wanted to know for years. But in the Ford community, if you don't know the right people, then the information is really hard to come by. And like, there's a lot of secrets out there which people don't like to share. So it's currently Christmas. I'm in the Christmas spirit. And what's, what should I say? The best way of spreading Christmas cheer is telling car secrets for all to hear. That was like probably the campest thing I've ever done in my YouTube life. But yeah, <laughs> oh, hopefully I might have to delete that. That was a bit camp. Uh, but yeah. Literally just three bolts, as you can see. One, two, three. And that should bolt straight up onto there. Let's do it. All right then, guys. So now it comes to the time to put in our belt on. So if you're curious, this is the part I'm gonna be using. It's gonna be very useful to you guys. Got this from Euro Car Parts. I think they wanted about 32 pound for it. Always go on Euro Car Parts and shop online because if you look in the top left corner, there's always a discount code for like 40 or 50% off. So I highly recommend that. And if you didn't see that, that's once more. And this is the bow that we're gonna be using. Um, so I paid about 23 pound for this. So yeah, really cheap. Get it, on, get it online. Uh, always make yourself a bargain. So to get this on, I have tried and tested it and you are going to still need the dampening to, the dampener to come on. And so to install the belt, you literally go on top of the alternator. 
down underneath this pulley here. There we go. Around here. Over here. Under the alternator. And then if I get a bit of slack off the pulley, oops, oops, let's do that again. 15 millimeter socket on top of the pulley here. That should loosen some slack off it. And then you'll be able to get the pulley all the way over here. Make sure it's all up top. There we go. And there we go. There we have our power steering, not power steering, there we have our alternator relocation and our IC delete. Um, so one thing you are gonna need to do is you might need to make adjustments to the um, harness. So as you know, on the ST150 engine, you always have the harness that comes over the back of the engine and down towards the block for where you put the crank position sensor and the grounds for the alternator. Whereas this time you just still run the wire for the uh, CPS or crank position sensor but you keep the grounding wires and you can shorten them, lose a bit of weight from your engine and you just put them there and as well there with the plug. Saving a lot of space and a lot of room and losing quite a bit of weight as well. Um, I don't know how much that one weighs in comparison to the new one, but you're gonna be removing the AC um, compressor. So you can remove the AC condenser and then all of the plumbing that comes into that, which I have done already on my Ford Fiesta. So if you already watched that, you will know that we've removed that and we have removed quite a lot of weight already. So there we go. I don't really know what else you can say about that, but there we go, it's perfect. Um, obviously keeping the dampener in there underneath, so I'll just give you another run through again. If you want to screenshot this just so you can get an idea of what it looks like. So over the top of the water pump, underneath here by the alternator, underneath the crank, under and over this pulley here, under the dampener, and then under this here. So there we go, nothing should be touching, um, spot on. So product code again really simple really easy to do and now that we've done that we've got literally all this room here for activities so obviously you can run one massive v-band uh for adapter for my turbo so if i can find it this is what i mean so i've got this adapter here which can bolt on here which obviously i wouldn't have been able to do if the one was still there because we'd be hitting it and be coming in between it but now we can have all of this space here obviously being sensible but we've got enough room to run a downpipe and save a lot more space so yeah I think that's the end of this video. Hopefully it helps some of you guys out. But yeah, I think that's it now. Um, really simple. Hopefully I've explained it well so you guys can do this yourself. Happily sharing the turbo secrets of the Ford community. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. If I helped you in any way, shape or form, please feel free to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.